Hi, Yarnabees. It's Sandy. <sighs> so, I have a few things to talk to you about today. And I have a happy mail. Oops, <laughs> that dropped on the floor. <laughs> so, um, first and foremost, uh, I don't know how many of you know, but Crystal... Oh, sorry. Dog is attacking her ball. Uh, Crystal from Bago Day just put out a video. She's not well. She's been in the hospital. She's having some uh, kidney stone issues. And so I put out a little thing on Facebook and Instagram saying, Yarnabees, unite and go and flood her video and give her all the love and support that we possibly can uh, to help our queen of yarn out. You know, she's, uh, she's a, a very integral part of this community and um, it's, it's really important that we show her support uh, when she's in, t in need. She doesn't, I don't think I've ever seen her do a video, maybe on the BOD squad, but I don't think I've ever seen her put out a video about her personal health or what's happening in her life. So this was probably pretty significant for her to do that. Uh, I've had kidney stones. I've had gallstones. I've, it hurts like a mother. And when she says that she was dropped to her knees, I don't doubt it for a minute because I was taken out by ambulance and I was projectile vomiting. It was horrible. It was, the pain is just unreal. So uh, I ended up having to go in for surgery to have mine removed. But um, I don't know what's, what's happening in Crystal's situation. But we wish her all the best. Um, and we love her so much. So go on over. Go, bzzz, go, go fly over there and give her some support and love. Okay? Thanks so much. Um, okay, next on the list on on my i think it was my halloween video i had mentioned that um i had had some nightmares and i was pretty messed up there for a few days and i um uh george had come home and brought me a gift well i i downloaded that on my phone or uploaded it from my phone so i couldn't figure out how to upload the pictures of what he got me and so I'm going to do that now. <laughs> um, it was so sweet. He, he knew I was having a really rough time and I was really concerned about a few things. So he came home, he brought me, he was going to give this to me for Christmas, but he bought me this. So pretty. And in it, was this little card and it says to my shield maiden hopefully i can do this without crying <laughs> if i had to choose between loving you and breathing i would use my last breath to tell you i love you oh wow it says and love your viking I uh, bawled my eyes out. <laughs> it was just, I, oh, wow. It was probably one of the most adoring things that I've ever seen George do. Um, it, it was, <laughs> I mean... Aside from asking me to marry him in the middle of the jewelry store, um, <laughs> I mean, that was pretty epic. But um, this, this, was, uh, this was right up there for me because, Bailey, come on, ow! <laughs> um, it, it was really, he, like he said, this was needed. Bailey, stop. This was needed for me. Um, and I'm not going to get into the details of, of what was going on, but um, it, it was perfect. It was the perfect gift, the perfect time, the perfect sentiment. 
So I love him so much and he obviously loves me very much too. So thank you, George. I love you. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Next on my list. Um, J Hook Crochet. Have you watched her, her video lately? Okay, Bailey, stop. Oh, go away. Um, she did this fantastic live uh and it was all about hobie yarn and i i did had no idea that she was that knowledgeable about hobie yarn it's a great video she or uh you um live she shows some yarns she tells all about it she talks about the company it was just it was very very well done and uh i think that every anybody that shops at hobie should go and watch this video because it was it was really cool to sit and, and listen to her i told her i said you should be an ambassador for hobie because she she should she knows so she probably knows more about hobie than some of the hobie employees do it's incredible so um i'm gonna leave that link down below go check it out it's uh it's really cool Next on the list, <laughs> uh, Sandy from Left is Right Crochet. She got a new car. <laughs> Mr. Wright got her a car and it is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, I just, ever, she was showing um, on her live, she was showing a picture of the car and it's candy apple red. It's beautiful and uh, the song kept going through my head but i changed the words going ride sandy ride <laughs> so yeah it, i mean it's it's a beautiful car and i am so glad that she got it because now she doesn't have to rely on mr Wright all the time who is also very busy to um take her around to do what she needs to do. So now she has her independence again. And uh, so it was awesome. It was really awesome. So uh, congratulations, Eddie. It's, that was really great. <laughs> I'm so glad that you got that because uh, you are not a, the type of person that should be hunkered down in, in the house and uh, just sitting there. You know, like you need to be out and doing things, you know so so yeah um so that was really awesome uh speaking of sandy sandy is one of the 25 days of christmas um people that i am my dog just won't leave me alone right now i'm so sorry um okay bailey go um oh, fine come here Okay, say hi to the people. Okay, say hi. No, over here. Say hi, people. She got a haircut. <laughs> so, say hi, people. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go. Um, yeah, so anyways, she's, she's one of the people I'm doing the 25 Days of Christmas with. But she contacted me and she suggested something that I think is a brilliant idea. Um... <clears throat> So I'm going to do the 25 days of Christmas with Rosalie at Yarn It Out. And then I have another recipient who I'm not telling. It's a surprise recipient that's going to be getting a box. Uh, and um, But I'll make sure I'll let you guys know that when the time comes. <clears throat> so with Sandy, what we're going to do is we're going to do it in January instead. So we're calling, I think, I think we've figured out what we're calling it. It's uh dawn of a new adventure 2021 throw out 2020 because it's crap <laughs> and the dawn of a new adventure of 2021 i am really hoping it's going to be better than this year because this year is shit um <clears throat> so yeah so that's what we're going to do uh the gifts are going to be geared towards christmas though but um but that's okay that's okay because it can be used for next year <laughs> for you know some of the stuff um 
so yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, out with the old, in with the new, and this is going to be um, kind of almost like a, you know, a better Christmas. <laughs> you know, like this Christmas is going to suck, I'm sure. But, you know, I'm hoping that next year is going to bode a lot better. <laughs> Good Lord. Uh, so yeah, so keep your eye out, keep your eye open for that. <clears throat> I will have a list, uh, a play in the playlist. I will have um, all the videos from Rosalie's and um, another playlist for all the ones from Sandy and the third playlist for the mystery guest. Uh, so yeah. So I will, and I'll be telling you guys, like letting you guys know, it's going to be starting on December 1st for Rosalie and the surprise guest. Uh, and I will make sure that you guys, I'll remind you then. Okay. Um, what else? I finished my sister's friend's pocket shawl. Ugh. So I'm just going to show it like this. Ugh. It's got huge, huge pockets on it. And I put the little wood toggles. Um, I, what I did was I just folded, I, I folded the, the bottom of the scarf over to make the pocket instead of actually making pockets and sewing them on. Because, you know, if you've been with my channel for a little while, you know. I hate making pockets and I hate sewing them on. So I cheated just a little bit. And then I did my tassels. These pockets are going to be big enough that her friend, she walks on the beach. She'll be able to put her wallet in here and her, you know, keys and like whatever she needs. If she smokes, she can put her smokes in here and, she, and it's on both sides. So she's got two huge pockets, Kleenex, you know, for when you're walking on the beach and your nose starts to run. <laughs> Yeah, we all know that. <clears throat> um, so, so that is Finny. I have finally got a jump on all my stuff. Oh, whoops. Sorry, guys. I forgot to turn that down. Um, I got a jump on all my stuff. So I have three scarves left to do uh, for the Seahawks thing, which won't take me very long at all. But the rest of it's finished. Um, I've finished the 25th day of Christmas thing. Well, not so much Christmas now for Sandy at left is right. Uh, I am working on Rosalie's right now and I have to work on, whoa, almost told you who the third person was. <laughs> um, the, the mystery guest, uh, I'm working on hers. Um, my daughter's gift is still put on the wayside, like on uh, by the wayside for the moment. But that one won't take me very long to finish either. <sighs> because of COVID and because there are shutdowns happening now, there was a notice brought, put out in Canada saying that non-essential travel is being put into uh, play. Um, so I don't think my kids are going to be able to come for Christmas. And I don't think they're going to be able to come in the next couple of weeks. Uh, <clears throat> so they are starting to implement different things. Um, so yeah, I'm a little distressed about the whole thing. So anyway. We're going to get through it. Yeah, no, I'm not going to say it. Keep your mouth shut, Sandy. Uh, anyway, okay. Um, I just went to the mailbox and I got something in the mail. Cover her address. But I, it's from um, Monica Buck. Monica was the, um, the winner of one of my giveaways so uh, she i think she's trying to tell me something <laughs> you 
you see this? <laughs> um. <laughs> I laughed so hard when I got this because, yeah, <laughs> it couldn't have come at a better time. <laughs> so, yeah, okay, so we're going to open it up. Oh, it's so funny. Oops. It's kind of destroying the envelope here. <laughs> oh, open. Oh, oh no. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Come on, work with me. There we go. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Look at that. That is so pretty. Hi, Sandy and George. Thank you both uh, for the wonderful gifts. I especially love the bracelet. It is so beautiful. Uh, the chocolate bar is delicious. Thank you once again, Monica. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I sent her uh, uh, a Sashka bracelet. And I sent her a chocolate bar, <laughs> like a chocolate bar. <laughs> uh, so as uh, among other things. So thank you so much, Monica. You didn't have to send me a card, but I appreciate it very, very much. <laughs> um, yeah, so <clears throat> because my kids probably won't be able to come out, I probably won't be doing that live with everybody. But... But uh, I have talked to my sister about something and she is desperately trying to get some done. Um, I, I uh, talked to her about doing, they're called yarn end basket or yarn end baskets. Yeah. <clears throat> and Bailey, stop. My God. Uh, yeah, so they are bags, sewn bags, that you put your yarn ends in or your um, uh, sewing ends, like your threads and stuff like that. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm crocheting and I cut off an end, I throw it in a bag that's beside my chair and it gets all over the, excuse me, all over the floor because I miss the bag most of the time. And, you know, sometimes I don't even have a bag and I forget and I just dump them on the floor and then I got this big massive mess on the floor. And it's like, I've got this much room between my table and my chair. So yeah, I've got yarn ends everywhere. So I talked to Charlene about this and I says, you know what? Like she's feeling a lot better and she is starting to do housework and she's she's getting out there and she's like she's doing 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 so i thought what i idle hands right so i thought oh stupid thing um i thought what better way to give her something to do than to get her sewing again so she was struggling with it at the beginning because her vision's still kind of off and um depth perception is a, an issue sometimes and so she was kind of struggling with it but now she thinks she's got it down and um so i'm gonna probably go over to her place next week and i'm gonna help her uh get a bunch of these bags together and then uh once they're done i'm gonna bring them back here and i'm gonna show you guys and we're gonna sell them um and i'm not taking any of the profit this is purely for my sister to help her out uh, you know, to, you know, for, to get money for whatever her needs are. So, um, I will let you know when, when they're finished. And, uh, I think she's selling them for $12 plus shipping. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> but we, at that time, we, her and I will be doing a video together after I cut her hair.
<laughs> she's desperately wanting me to cut her hair and we did an actual um uh facebook video chat yesterday and i was like okay yeah you need a haircut <laughs> So, so yeah, so I'm going to do that and then we're going to do a video for you guys. Um, and yeah. Okay. Now the big thing. My CPAP. I got my CPAP today. Wow. <clears throat> Um, he gave me three different types of masks. Let's see if I could do this without dumping it all over the place. So he gave me, and I'm, I'm basically, I'm on a two month trial. So, I, mm, don't even know. So this is the one that goes over your nose and like your whole nose. Oh, I'm getting anxiety just looking at it. <clears throat> so there's that one. And then there's, this is the nose pillow one. So that one just goes up on your nose. And this one, this, oh no, sorry. The other one goes over your mouth and your nose. And this one, goes over just my nose. at it going are you freaking kidding me i'm gonna have the tube coming out from top of my head i told you know i i told george i says my god i mailman hold on <clears throat> sorry about that so yeah so this one the, the hose comes off the top of your head and then this goes um just over your nose <laughs> I was choking with George and I says you know like seriously it's gonna you're gonna be like sleeping with the Borg it's I, I just I don't even know what to say but I am taking it on faith and I am taking everybody's advice all of you that have supported me with this have told me that this is gonna be the best thing ever <sighs> so yeah <clears throat> it starts tonight i may even take pictures i don't know we'll see because <laughs> i think it's gonna be hilarious <laughs> um yeah so i'm i'm really nervous about that but the funny thing is this the guy said to me oh, wings the guy told me that uh, this may end up helping my, well, it'll help with the diabetes for sure. Um, because when you stop breathing and your adrenaline goes and then your, your insulin spikes. And, um, so that's probably why I've got the diabetes now. So he's, he's hoping that this is going to negate my diabetes it's going to get rid of it um also i have acid reflux disease and uh, hiatal hernia he told me that he's had people that have acid reflux problems that it's completely gone away with the cpap <clears throat> um, because the when you stop breathing your diaphragm contracts and it presses on your stomach and so all the juices from your stomach go up. So that's um, going to apparently stop. Okay. So I'm, that's exciting. Because I have, I'm on two different types of medication for my stomach. And uh, if I could get rid of those medications, oh my God, 
life as you know it, as I know it, would change forever. Uh, so that's exciting news. So yes, I did it, guys. I've got the CPAP. And yeah, <laughs> let's see. Yeah, let's see if George totally freaks out when he <laughs> wakes up and rolls over and looks at me. Oh, <laughs> he'll, he'll probably be laughing so hard. He'll wake up he'll roll over wake up and look at me and get startled and then he'll look at me and go she looks ridiculous and start laughing hysterically so <laughs> and i wouldn't blame him because i am going to look like a goober but <laughs> anyway <laughs> okay guys i am gonna go uh that's all i think i had to tell you for now so oh wait before you go um sunshine leclaire has got the hook the sisterhood of the traveling hook she has it she has put out a video i've got it linked down below i've got it in my playlist as well uh she put she did the opening so now she has to do the um the video for what she made also um off the australia hook uh say it was squishy she has her video done. She's going to up, probably upload it tomorrow, I think she said. So um, I will keep an eye out for that. And then I will link that down below. So keep checking my playlist. Um, it's the, the hashtag Sisterhood of the Traveling Hook. Uh, and then you can see all the videos of everybody that's got the hooks. Okay, so thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, oh, and something else I was going to tell you, too. My metformin's working. Can you tell? Can you tell? I've, I've had people commenting saying, you look so much better, you know, and you, you just, you're energized. I am. I am. I, this, this last past week, uh, just in the last few days, I don't know, something kicked in and now I have energy. I wake up and I'm just like, Come on, let's go, let's go. I actually went and did the dishes. The minute I got out of bed, I went out and I did the dishes before I even had a cup of coffee. That's unheard of for me. Like, I was just like, what? Okay. <laughs> so now, um, yeah, I don't just sit in my chair and crochet and just like, bleh, feel like I'm melting into the chair. You know, I actually have energy. I can go go and do stuff. So the metformin is working. Yay. <laughs> so so when the CPAP guy told me that I probably will get off metformin eventually, I was like, oh, but it's giving me energy. <laughs> so yes. So I, I do my hair, I do my makeup and I'm like, ah, la, 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 la. you know, so I'm back to my usual, my old self. Uh, whatever the heck that is. So yeah, so thank you all for that support as well. Okay, I'm going now. <laughs> okay, and I'll talk to you guys later. I love you so much. Mwah! Bye.